الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحن نصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد There is an incident mentioned in the books of Hadith that once there were three people that were traveling and there happened to be a storm. These three people, they went and took refuge in one cave. They thought that when the storm subsides, they would come out of the cave and they would continue with their journey. Whilst they were inside the cave, there was a huge rock that came and blocked the entrance of the cave. And the three people were stranded even more. First they were stranded with the storm, they took refuge in the cave. They went in the cave and they got stranded even more because they will not be able to come out of this cave. Obviously, no if sufficient air is coming in, no water supply, no food supply, and until the boulder will move out, move out from the way, they will not be able to come out. It's a matter of life and death. So those three of them decided that now it is only Almighty Allah that can help us, in this situation, nobody can help us in this world. Outward and apparently, we cannot do anything. We are now completely left at the mercy of Allah It is only Allah that can take us out from the difficulty and hardship. Allah tells us in the Quran Karim also. When people are stranded, they in a state of desperation, who is there to help? Who is there to listen to the dua and the call of a desperate person? He says, أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُطَّرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوْقُ Who is there to answer the call of a desperate person? And who is there to remove the evil and the obstacle from the path of a person who is stranded? Nobody but Allah Taala. In another verse, Allah Taala tells us, "Qul may yunajikum min zulmat al barri wal bahri tadrunahu tadru al wahufya." When you are traveling in the seas, you are traveling in the oceans, and you are stranded in the seas and in the oceans. You use your gigantic waves. All the creatures of the sea. Nobody is there to help you and assist you. Who is there to help you and assist you and give you najat and freedom when you accept in the center of the ocean? Nobody but Allah Taala. When a person is put into a situation <laughs> where there's nobody to help him, then it is natural for a human being at that time to turn out to Allah Taala and make dua to Allah to remove the difficulty and hardship. Every human being by nature, he understands, he knows from within his heart that there is a superior being above him. And his life is being controlled by the superior being and that is Allah Taala. So these three people, while they were traveling, and the storm broke out, they took refuge in the cave. And a huge boulder came and blocked the entrance of the cave. They all three decided, now we are left to the mercy of Allah and only Allah can remove us from the difficulty and hardship. They decided now to turn to Allah and to make dua to Allah and also if they have done any good deed in the past, present that good deed to Allah and ask Allah in view of the good deed to remove the difficulty and hardship. <coughs> Allah tells us in the Quran, 
يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله واتقوا اليه الوسيله او يو بليف في الله تبارك وتعالى اما يو ويل ريد الله تبارك وتعالى ذات ادوب ا مينز اور ادوب ا وسيله and one understanding of wasila is that if you have done any good deed present the good deed to Allah tabarak wa taala and ask Allah to accept you or remove any difficult and hardship in lieu of the good deed that you have done so the first person he makes dua to Allah tabarak wa taala he says Allah you know that i have elderly parents their aged parents and I used to come home late at night and before attending to my children before attending to my wife I would first go and attend to my parents he should take a glass of milk present it to them and one day he happened to come very very late and the parents were asleep he said to oh Allah you know that my children were crying because they were also very hungry my wife also wanted something to eat but i did not want to pay attention to my wife and my children before i pay attention to my aged parents i took a glass of milk and i stood by their side i did not even want to wake them up on the seat to disturb them from their sleep and when they woke up then i presented to them their glass of milk and only after they were fulfilled and satiated i paid attention to my wife and my children oh allah if i have done the good deed solely to please you then i ask you in lieu of this good deed to remove the difficulty and hardship from our way it is mentioned in the hadith that allah tabarak wa taala accepted the dua of the person that was stuck in the cave and the rock moved a little bit the second person he made dua to allah tabarak wa taala wallah you know that i had a cousin sister she was very very good looking and very very beautiful one day she was in need of money She came up to me to ask me for some money. I told to her, I will advance you the money on condition that you give me access to you. You allow me to become intimate with you. Then only I will give you the money. This girl was desperate. She was a chaste woman, a chaste girl. No man had touched her. but because of the state of desperation now she was forced to unclose herself and give me access just because she could attain the money in that way she say he say to allah you know that when i was on that girl at that time a person cannot resist his desires are very very high It's not just a matter of fulfilling his passion and his desire. And while I was on that girl, my cousin sister, even at that stage, she pleaded to me and she told to me that if you want to be intimate with me, then be intimate in the 